So I will take a little bit of time now because I actually want to go around and, and thank each of you individually for your time on council. This was supposed to be our last meeting, our 35th council meeting on this term of council. Obviously, we will have one more, but that will be, I'm promised, a very short lunchtime meeting. So I, uh, I suppose the best way to do this, I put some thoughts together this afternoon about each of you. So I'll just go and, and uh, thank you each of you individually. So I'll start, I'll go back around the opposite order that came. So Pam, I think you've been a very a thoughtful, insightful and respectful member of our council, always considering the needs of all community members, not just, but including our Aboriginal population. Your attitude has been, has allowed you to make bold and courageous decisions and your kindness and warmth have made you a respected figure within our council and the broader community. Your first motion, if you remember it, focused on playground strategy, and that set the stage for your commitment to creating inclusive and accessible spaces for all. Your dedication to making our community more inclusive and thoughtful has been truly inspiring, and I'm certainly grateful, and the community's been grateful for your contributions. Best of luck on the 14th of September. Thank you. Richard, so only two people, Richard, made it to every council meeting, every one of those 35 council meetings, and you were one of those two people. And two councillors also brought forward 11 successful notices of motion. You're one of those that brought forward. Not that it's a accounting contest for those, but I thought that was quite fascinating, uh, the number that you brought through that was successful. Uh, your attention to detail and dedication to thoroughness have been invaluable to our council. Your ability to cut through bureaucratic talk, nothing personal here, <laughs> and focus on common sense solutions has been refreshing and much needed. As Deputy Mayor, you've been an invaluable sounding board for me personally, offering wise counsel and a steady hand. Your financial acumen has been instrumental in guiding our decisions, ensuring that we remain fiscally responsible. Your initiative at our very first meeting to create a range of community committees has been a resounding success, fostering greater engagement and collaboration. Your contributions have been significant, and we're all grateful for your leadership and insight. Thank you. Jess? You brought a fresh and dynamic perspective to our council, viewing issues through the lens of a younger person and a female perspective. Your connection with your community, particularly through your business clients, has ensured the voices of Wellington residents are heard loud and clear. You've been a tireless advocate for better policing in Wellington, pushing the state government to deliver on this crucial issue. Your focus on practical solutions, such as lighting audits and park benches, demonstrates your commitment to enhancing everyday lives of our residents. Jess, your energy and, and dedication have been inspiring and your contributions have made a real difference. And good luck to you on the 14th of September. I didn't say that to you, Richard. Sorry, good luck to you as well on the 14th of September. Uh, Josh, you brought a distinct political perspective to our council, staying true to your core ALP roots while engaging effectively with your broader community, particularly through social media. Your passion for correcting past mistakes was evident, and you mentioned it a moment ago, in your initial motion on the Regan Park Master Plan, an excellent concept that has helped guide our planning and development efforts. You focused on federal election funding opportunities, tree preservation, and ensuring responsible governance. And of course, your lighthearted approach to your self-proclaimed popular comment section often provided some mirth at the end of a long meeting. Josh, your dedication to representing your dedicated group of constituents has been greatly appreciated, and I wish you the best of luck on the 14th of September. Shibley. You've been a compassionate... Sorry, I knew the other one was 11, Councillor Shattery. Uh, 11 successful notices of motion through your term of council, not that we're counting. Um, you've been a compassionate and thoughtful voice on our council, bringing forward the views of many in the migrant community in particular, but again, not limited to that community. Your unique lens, shaped by your experience of being born in Bangladesh and settling in Australia, has enriched our discussions and decisions. Your caring nature and sensitivity in decision-making have ensured that all voices are heard, particularly those from diverse backgrounds. Your push to develop a multicultural park is just one example of your vision for a more inclusive community. From working on our aquatic leisure centres to championing Dubbo's Christmas campaign, your contributions have been wide-ranging and impactful. Thank you for your dedication to making our community a better place for all. And again, best of luck on the 14th of September. Councillor Etheridge, you were the only returning councillor from the last WA Regional Council. And of course, you've been a strong advocate for community voices on our council. Your focus on action, particularly in the beautification of neighbourhood shopping centres, has left a large, lasting impact. Your initial motion on this very topic set the tone for your tenure, showcasing your commitment to enhancing the daily lives of our residents. Your work has not only beautified our surroundings, but also fostered a sense of pride and ownership within our communities. Your dedication to improving our neighbourhoods has made a tangible difference and we're all grateful for your contributions. It's a shame to see you're not standing on the 14th of September, but thank you for your contributions over many years, both in Dubbo and Warren, and I wish you the best of luck. And of course, the doors here are always open to a former councillor. Councillor Wright, 
your business acumen and innovative approaches have been tremendous assets to our council. Your many connections within the community, combined with your experience as the former president of the Dubbo Business Chamber, have provided invaluable insights into the needs of our local businesses and residents. Your focus on accelerating housing supply in Dubbo and updating the transportation strategy have been critical in addressing some of our region's most pressing challenges. Your genuine and down-to-earth nature have made you a pleasure to work with. Matt, your contributions have been significant and we thank you for your unwavering commitment to our community. Best of luck for you as well on the 14th of September. And I know that Councillor Mahan and Councillor Burns are not here, but I will read out something that I've written for both of those as well. Councillor Mahan has brought a financial perspective to our council, informed by his extensive business experience. His past involvement with Rotary and, and current involvement with Rotary has given him a unique perspective on community service and engagement. Councillor Mahan's introduction of dashboard reporting has been a game changer, providing councillors in the community with greater transparency and insight into our operations. His focus on water smart messaging at the very beginning and service review programs ensured that our resources are managed effectively and sustainably. I thank Councillor Mahan for his practical approach and commitment to excellence, which has made a lasting impact, and I thank him for his contributions. And again, a shame to see Councillor Mahan not standing at the next election because his experience and acumen will be missed. And for Councillor Burns... Having the views of a traditional owner, two traditional owners, on our council has been invaluable. And Councillor Burns has exemplified this role with great dignity and purpose. His deep connection with the Aboriginal community has brought forward perspectives that are not only essential, but enriching to our decision-making process. Councillor Burns takes a minimalist, no-fuss attitude to his debating, which has been refreshing, allowing us to focus on the core issues without unnecessary distractions. His initial motion on collaboration with other councils marked a significant step forward, fostering alliances that continue to benefit our region, and his commitment to the repatriation of the axe-grinding groove rock is a testament to his dedication to preserving cultural heritage. I thank Councillor Burns for his unwavering commitment and contributions. And of course, it all goes without saying that I have to thank Murray, CEO, and your staff, uh, on behalf of all councillors, thank you for the professionalism shown by yourself and all your staff, the skill and the dedication that you all bring to your jobs. I'm sure it can sometimes be frustrating having to follow through with the resolution of councillors when staff members may not personally agree with the decision, but not once have I witnessed anything but a dedication to carry out the full intent of the resolutions of council. Council works best when councillors and staff work in tandem with respect. We don't have to always agree, but once the decision was made, I always had total confidence that the actions from your staff would be undertaken. Thank you for your relationship with myself personally and for all councillors and your ongoing dedication to Dubbo. That's all from me, councillors. Over and out from that. Again, we've got seven councillors standing. I hope that all seven councillors are back here come the beginning of October and best of luck to all councillors standing again. And whatever happens, there'll be at least four new councillors to be welcomed into the family, whatever that family might look like um, from Dubbo Regional Council perspective.